Talking about ghosts, I think that I'm being haunted, man. What do you mean you're being haunted? The last week, it's been a really, really interesting week for me, man. <laughs> and I feel like my concept of reality has shifted. <laughs> I feel like I'm in like in different dimension or something. Why? I don't know how to explain it. But I keep having those strange dreams. And they all feel like there are different realities. And I don't know why. That's <laughs> isn't that what a dream is? No. That's not what a dream is. Because a dream is a dream. We we all know what a dream is. But for the last week and I was thinking maybe it's because I've been fasting for the last eight days, you know, that maybe my brain is trying to tell me something. But I keep having those dreams, these dreams that I wake up and keep waking up, for example. So I'm dreaming about something and then in the dream I realize, oh, it is a dream. Then I wake up, but I don't wake up for real. I wake up in another dream. Like sleep paralysis? No, no. I wake up in a sleep paralysis, you're aw- literally awake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that your body and brain are not on the same wavelength. Yeah, yeah. But I keep waking up in a dream. So then let's say I wake up in the dream, then I wake up again, then I wake up again, then I wake up again, then I wake up again. Every time I keep waking up, it feels like I woke up, but I didn't wake up. And I keep having those dreams of me doing a normal thing in the day, but then wake wake up. So I don't know if it is me that's having an issue personally or that I'm actually like, my superpower has awoken. <laughs> so, never had something like that? Nah, bro. Have like, you ever had like a dream that you <coughs> woke up, but you woke up in the dream? And you were like, bro, what the fuck? And then you wake um, up again. Nah, I mean, this cycle of waking are, up, bro. My dreams are just generally weird. No, nah, I know your dreams. They're weird, but... I have also have weird dreams, but I never had a dream that I kept waking up. Um, and for today, for example, I told you. Let me think. I let woke up. About that. I woke up at eight forty a.m. Yeah. I had woke at ten, so I woke at eight forty a.m. And then I was like, okay, let me sleep for ten minutes. I closed my eyes. I had a really short dream. I don't remember the dream no more, but it was a really short dream. It was so short that I knew it was a short dream. I realized that I slept for. Maybe five minutes. But that was after you woke up already, right? Yeah, I know. Uh, the 8 p- but that's 8.40, normal. I woke up for real. But that's 8 normal. 8 that's normal. Right? I don't know. No, I, I've, I've had that happen to me too. Um, where I just, you know, when I go to school, yeah. you wake up and in your mind you're like, yeah, let me have like five more minutes. Actually, no, for me, it's I go back into my dream. You force yourself into your dream. Or... No, I, I physically enter dream. back to the dream. No, but I mean like... Do you sometimes you wake up because of the alarm and yeah. you're like, ah, it was a really nice dream. Let me go yeah. back to the dream. Yeah, but you're doing that uh, on purpose. Yeah. It's not something that just But then I happens. know that it's going to last short because I have to wake up. I don't know if I had that. I think I just had a sh- really short dream and because I've been having those crazy dreams for the past week that I keep waking up and shit, I knew it was short. From the moment the dream started till it ended, I knew it was a dream. And then I woke up because I put my alarm for uh, five minutes and it didn't go off and I slept for two hours. You think it has something to do with Ramadan? I think I got issues. <laughs> maybe it's a combination of me not eating through the day no more. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe I'm just haunted. And I think I'm haunted because I, I have been doing Ramadan for the past, I don't know, 10, I 20 s- years <laughs> of my <laughs> life. I used to think that Never God had was it. talking with me. <laughs> no, had I had it once, but that was because a friend of mine in elementary school kept bragging about it. The God talked to him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but he was a he was a really pious person. Yeah, yeah. The boy, the boy was, uh, mashallah, he was really good. He was like the ideal son. Really? Yeah, he was a really good kid. All he did, he wouldn't even lie as a child. If we told him to say something, he would say no, man. I I I can't do that. It's against the, the will of God, basically. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. And I used to be like that too. He said once he said he told me he had a dream, and he had a f- he heard a voice tell him, "Be nice to your mom," and he was like that voice was so nice and shit. And I told my mom, and she was she, was, she said maybe God talked to you, 
And uh, said, uh, I'm it was flexing that God talked to him. I was like, God damn, bro. I never had the, those dreams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I never like I never had the dream that I was talking with God. If that's like what you're trying to get out of me, but I never had that. But I had a dream mm. that when I was ki- when I was a kid, I used to have the, the this this may start start really straight. When I was a kid, six seven years old, I really remember it well. I used to have uh, a dream. That I would walk up in the sky, so it was like white and clouds, and I would walk, uh, walk, walk up, and I would enter a room, and there was like this figure there, and I was just chill there. The figure didn't talk to me. I didn't talk to the figure. I just went there, and I walked around with it, and uh, it was like shadow. Like the figure is a shadow. Yeah, the figure was like a shadow. So it's like it's like you see a person, but like it is a, like fully angel, black. Angel you don't see, thing. you don't see shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just chilling there, and yeah, I used I to have those dreams like multiple times a week. Uh, I, I, used, I used to think like uh, God was talking to me directly. Why? Why? No, because it, it just felt like that way. It felt that that when I was like lost, I just was like, "Oh man, help me out!" Help I, just, me God. I heard like, yeah. But th- was that in the form of a dream, or you just heard voices? No, in no, head? I heard. <laughs> 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 Not like I, I saw like. Everyone say shit about oh yeah, the, all the great people in history they had like God talking to them. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, if I'm gonna be a great person, I better have God talking to me. Yeah. And then a week a week passed by, and I kept saying like God, if you're there, bro, come on, bro, say something to me, man. Yeah. yeah. And I, it felt like he was talking to me. It felt like what well, you literally heard voices. Nah, I, I mean you don't really hear voices, right? It just feels like someone's talking to you. Uh, you you're strange. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're the haunted one. I was ten. I was ten. Yeah. I Did don't you know, know that Super Mario is also Muslim, right? Mario is not Muslim. Mario is Muslim. He's Italian. No, but he's Muslim. Bro, I remember there was like this remix. Nah, he's dead as he Muslim. Was, he went to the church and he was with the Pope. Yeah, he was Mario he and he the Pope. Yeah, but I I can also go to the church and be with the Pope. But mm. back in the nineties, yeah. Nintendo released for like the special day. They released. This this book, but Mario respecting all religions, and yeah. he went to the synagogue. He's like, "This is a synagogue." He went inside with the rabbi. He was talking. He said, "This is this is the church. This and that." He said, "This is the mosque." But on only one picture, there's a picture of him praying. And he's praying in the mosque. He's praying in the mosque. I'm bro- brother Mario. <laughs> you wanna <laughs> see, you wanna see the picture? Yeah, look it up. Hello. But yeah, it's uh. It's been a strange week for me, man. But that's not how we pray, bro. I think they did a collaboration of all the praying styles. No, 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 no. He was, he even had like the hat and everything. You know who also has the hat? The Jews. The Jews. But he you know who pray on. like that? The Christians. But he had the Jaleva on. Uh, I don't think so. I and didn't see Jaleva there. And he, was on the, and he was going to Mecca and shit. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe Mario is a brother. Brother Mario, bro. Brother Mario. But the real question is, what's Luigi then? Uh, I don't know, man. Luigi has... See, for the Christian, for the Jews, he just has like the, the thing on his head, yeah. but he doesn't pray. And the only picture he prayed in is for the Quran. Brother Mario, man. He's, uh, he's, he might be lost. He might, he might, he might need be to lost. That's why he's... Uh, get his ways up. Killing those mushrooms. He kills the mushrooms, right? Um, I never played the Mario. No, he game. does not kill the mushrooms. The mushrooms are good. He eats the mushrooms. He kills He's the high. Kubas. He, he does get high on mushrooms. Yeah. I always, I always thought Mario was uh, was about drugs. Mario he, was about drugs. Because he he eats a mushroom and then uh, all the colors change on the screen, and then he <laughs> keeps running and shit. And suddenly he can fly. He gets bigger and stuff. That actually makes a lot of maybe, sense. Maybe maybe he was on shrooms. Scooby Doo is on is on drugs. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, did you did you see the Scooby Doo fan? What? The, their fan? No. They always used to chill in the fan. They had a fan. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, the fan. fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought like an actual like fan. What colors did it have? Green, Blue. orange. It looked yeah. like a hippie fan. Yeah, it is. What a did fan. the hippies do? Smoke. That's why the dog yeah. talks. That's why the dog talks. And in the movie, in the live action movie, Shaggy is in the plane, and there's this girl, and she's like, "Oh yeah, hi, my name is Mary Jane." He's like, "But that's that's my favorite name." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, w- that would make more sense. Did you watch the Scooby Doo like live action movies? Yeah, yeah. 
I watched she was one. Hilarious, I watched man. one. There's like two. There's one with the island, and it's like it's made for adults. It's really not made for kids. I didn't see that one. They literally just show like the big titties everywhere, and there's, it's like a kids movie. But there's like enough shit that adults can watch it too and be like, "This is hilarious, bro." But there are a lot of kids stuff with adult jokes. Talk yeah, but that, that Scooby Doo is filled with it, bro. Have you seen the Nickelodeon thing in the news recently? The Dan uh, Schneider guy of Schneider. But the Dan those? Schneider guy is is weird. There's a there's now a whole documentary. Out yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Talking about it and. The saddest thing is that there's also there were two producers on uh, Nickelodeon. Yeah. One called Dan Schneider and the other ca- one called Dan Schneider. Schneider or something. Oh. They only differed one letter. Oh really? So a lot of people thought it was him. Nah. But he didn't do shit. So they no were like sad. getting mad at him. Yeah, yeah. But the Dan Schneider guys was was really weird. He was like the producer for iCarly and all that shit. Yeah. And he was really good. But at the same time he was making some crazy shit. He had a feet fetish. Yeah. Did you know he had a swimming pool that was in the shape of a feet at his nah, house? that's yeah. crazy. That's yeah. crazy. That is crazy. Imagine fighting those allegations. They come to your house and they see like swimming pool in the shape of a foot. That's crazy, bro. He really had a feet fetish. I know. That's why they made like the girl, uh, Ka- uh, Sam, in I hardly always like do shit with her feet. Yeah. But not only her, bro. A lot of people. A lot of kids. A lot of kids. But there are also like some stuff that they are like ex- exaggerating on. For example, there was this guy in uh, Victorious, the, the principal of the school, if I remember, the principal of the school, if I remember correctly, and he was obsessed with, obsessed with lotion. He would always like do lotion in, on his hands. And sometimes when he w- got mad, he would s- squirt the lotion on the, the students. And some people are saying, oh, that looks really sus. But I don't think it is, uh, that's what they meant. I think that's like a genuine thing. <laughs> is it though? Yeah, he was just squirting lotion on them. Someone someone squirted lotion on me once. Okay. <laughs> you be you, bro. Are, are yeah, we expecting a documentary from you in a couple <laughs> of years? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was in the elementary school. Well, why did you have lotion on elementary school? No, I didn't school? have it. Someone else had it. Why did the they have lotion? The motherfucker just squeezed it into my face. Why did he have lotion? It's so strange. I don't know, bro. That was the first time I ever like saw lotion. <laughs> I was like, why the f- what the fuck is this? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I brought lo- lotion and shit. And I was like, bro, why the fuck how do you have lotion? He? Same age as me, bro. Well, how old was you? Like 11. So strange. Yeah. I brought lotion to the lotion to school. So strange. Yeah. It did smell nice, but it was like with lemon. And he squeezed like it into my eyes. Like a hand lotion? Because yeah, hand yeah. lotions always smell nice. Yeah. Uh, a classmate of mine always used to have hand lotion. What? And I would always say, just give it to me. My hands are dry, dry and shit, but I just like the smell. I don't like lotion, man. But I I had smelling issues. I had a smelling fetish. <laughs> I always used to smell my uh, hands for no reason. <coughs> That's crazy. I w- I wanted to know what shit smells That's like. That's better than than licking it. Yeah, I didn't lick stuff. I always smell shit for some reason. But and my mom would beat the shit out of me. I was like, bro, why the fuck? Is I, that? Everyone yeah, imagine me as a kid just going face, like this. Right? I would oh, but touch you stuff. Smell your hands. You know, I'm smelling my hands. I I wasn't oh, smelling I would, the objects. I would, I would smell. I would the touch the stuff and then smell my hands. I would smell the objects. That w- that makes more sense. I I was like, mom, I can smell and shit. Like no, that would be that, that's less strange than smelling your hands. Imagine you see your child in the I corner just to go. <laughs> <laughs> I would beat my son too, man. <laughs> I won't beat the man. shit out of me, man. And then like I quit. Sometimes all you need is a good beating, man. Then it all stops. That's not how it works, man. But it's literally how it's for it for me. It literally did not work that way. What's the worst beating you ever got? Uh, a lot, man. That was the worst one, specifically. The reason or? Like, the reason for why you did it. I don't remember the reason, but this one I won't really call uh, getting beat up, but it was when I was used to live in uh, Ethiopia. And uh, I did something, and I think I had a fight with my niece, and my aunt was like, fuck your children, bro. Take your clothes off, go outside. And I just went outside naked, bro. That's literally, crazy. literally, bro. I just went outside naked. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting a beating, bro. I don't mind. I'm just butt naked there. And some people walked by and they were so hella confused. that I was this black kid naked. <laughs> outside, where is his family? I was just sitting there, bro. I was like, yeah, as long as I'm not getting a beating. I hated not beatings. Beatings were important for me. Because I wouldn't stop if I didn't get a beating. I, need, I needed to have physical harm. I, I didn't Otherwise, know. I wouldn't stop. I, I hated that shit. It didn't work for me at all. Yeah. I always got beat for coming in late. Coming late from... Uh, I'm still late. 
Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nah, for me it was always getting beat for for getting the time when I'm doing something. No, I didn't. And I would go play with friends and completely forget about the time, and then I would get home like after dark. But for that, I wouldn't get shit. I Maybe would I, I would get a smack or no, cause I, I'm I not would, allowed to go outside. I would no just more. disappear for like hours on end, bro. Oh, that's, uh, that's annoying. I would like, I would look at the clock, it's like nine, nine o'clock. Yeah, that's annoying, that's annoying. No, I never had that. And in Turkey, nine o'clock, and we had like a, like a mafia, organ mafia, still yeah, yeah. kids' as organs. Yeah. So they're like, the kid is not here, bro. He was supposed to be, one time, bro, the worst, be- I remember the worst beating. We were supposed to go to a water park. Mm-hmm. But I got to my friend's house, and they left without me for some reason. Like, literally. Okay. I, the, the the kid was a rich douchebag, and I, I I honestly the only reason why I hung out with him was because he he got to like do all the fun stuff, and I was like I'm just chilling, you know. Um, basically, I get there, they already left like half an hour ago because I I had like the wrong time or whatever. So I I see the mom there. The mom's like, oh, they already left. They were waiting for you, but they they they, they were like, oh yeah, we, we don't know. He might not come. Yeah, he might not yeah. come. So they already left, and I was there, and uh, I'm like, shit, what the fuck should I do now? And I'm like, is this cousin here? Yeah. And I got to his cousin. So, because I was like, if I go home right now, my mom's gonna give me beating for coming in late. Yeah. So I was like, let me go to his cousin and play there, till like it's believable that we came back and then go back home. Yeah. So I'm playing with his cousin. We're on the Wii doing this and that. And then it was like. 10 p.m. Yeah. And my mom called the dad. He's like, oh yeah, when are you guys gonna coming back? The dad is like. Oh, he's not here with us. Yeah. So my mom is like, this kid is missing. Yeah. So my dad is like looking out for me. And at this point, I'll look at the clock. It's like 10. I'm like, shit. Let me go home. Or like, it's like 8 or something. Um, I go home. And I see my dad on the road. <laughs> my dad was really, really mad. Like, Yo, what's up? The water park was fine. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And my dad was like mad at me. And I'm like, shit, bro. But luckily, he had to go to to work. So yeah. he was like... He just had. He just left. Otherwise, I would have gotten beaten twice. Yeah. So I, I he like he goes away, and then I I go home, and like on the way home, it's like three hundred meters. Yeah. And at three hundred meters, I was like contemplating life. Like, what, what am I gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna get beat. How yeah. am I gonna? You know what was wor- that? Well, that am was I gonna worse. dodge? Am I gonna yeah. get hit, bro? That what was worse than do? getting beaten. It's the moment you knew you were <laughs> about to get a beating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like God, you're like, should I just not go home? But that's gonna get me beat even more. Yeah, yeah. But at least I'm not getting beating right now. You yeah, know? Yeah. <laughs> nah, shit like that. Yeah, that 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 always got me beat. I didn't really lie. I remember the the first time I ever lied. The first time I lied, I I went to get my haircut and I got distracted, and I lost the money that my mom gave me to get yeah. the haircut. So I was like, shit, bro. If I lose well, money, I lost I'm gonna oh get bro. beat. I, so you're I talking about a haircut money, bro. So I lost school money. That's crazy. <laughs> That was fucked, bro. So I went to the haircut, bro. I go back. Yeah. And I'm like, I didn't get a haircut. So I go home. And my mom was like, let me see your hair. Let me see your hair. And she's like, you didn't do anything. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. He got like, he got a bit off of this side. My mom looks, he's like, he didn't. I'm like, nah, nah, he did. Trust me. Like, he just like did this and that. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. And she's like, no, <laughs> there's nothing changed, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you left the house, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And I, and I like I went to like put the money back into the drawer. There was the money in my hand to put back into the drawer. So the next day she cut her hair. She cut my hair myself. She was like, "It's not bad if you lose the money. Just be honest with this." I have a barber story too. It was when I was younger. At the beginning, I always used to go to the barber with my dad or with my mom. So I never knew what they told the guy. Yeah. And after a while, they were like, "Okay, this guy knows. I uh, just go there, and the guy knows what he needs to do." Yeah. So I was sit there, and once there was another guy that didn't know me. Yeah. So and the next day was the party of my little sister. She was having a birthday party, <laughs> so I needed to be fresh. So I go there, and the guy's like, "What do you want? Will you do you want me to do with the scissor or with the machine?" And the machine sounded really interesting. Yeah, I never had the machine. Yeah, I always yeah, had yeah. the scissors. Like yeah, machine. The guy made me bald. <laughs> but the guy made me bald. <laughs> crazy, bro. I walked back home. I'm like, yeah, I should have went with the scissors, man. 
Because the guy probably meant, sister, I'm going to make it short. Yeah, yeah, machine, yeah. I'll make you bolt. Yeah. And I didn't know. The machine just sounded interesting. Yeah. So the machine, bro, and it made me bolt. And I went home. My mom started to scream. What did you do? What's going on? Uh, I said, yeah. I said to the guy, machine, I was wondering what it was. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, man, my mom didn't really beat me. So uh, no, that's that's just, funny. That's she just funny. gave me a hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My, mom, my mom never beat oh, me. Oh, is that when you like had the backwards hat on? No, no, no. Ah, I had like okay. a green hat. I remember I had a green <laughs> hat. How old were you? I was maybe seven, ah, okay, six, okay. seven, something now like that. Now the picture that I was talking about is like way younger than that. Yeah. Now for me, the when I lost the money, no, was no, the I was first time I, I went to get my own. Cut. I was like, I can do this on my own. And I lost the yeah. money. So I was like, no, shit, bro. I lost school I money, bro. Okay, back in Somalia. Oh, the government doesn't pay for the school. Yeah. So if you want your child to go to the school, you pay money monthly or yearly, whatever you feel like. So this month, it was my turn to take the money because the month prior to that, my sister took it and she gave it to the clean, clean, la- the mate of the school. So yeah. Our school had a mate. So she gave the money to the mate to give it to the principal. But the principal girl got really mad because she gave it to the mate. Mm-hmm. She was like, why did you give it to the mate and not to me? So she got really angry with my sister. Mm-hmm. And then this month, my, my sister told my mom, the, 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 the principal is a bitch. She, she doesn't like me. I don't want to do this shit with her no more. And then I had the money. And I remember I went to school and I, was, I, I flexed the money. I was like, look at this voice. And I flexed it to the boy that used to bully me. Did he beat you for the money? No, he didn't beat me oh, for okay. the money. <laughs> this guy, uh, he had two, uh, there were like three brothers around the same age, a couple, uh, maybe a year or two. Two were twins, and the twins, one was short and skinny, and the other one was really tall and skinny. So they were twins that were like really strange. And they had, uh, I, don't, I don't think he was their brother, maybe it was their cousin, but they were like really family. So they used to play with each other all the time, and they used to bully me. Then one day, I was in class, and one of the twins was sitting next to me, and I flexed the money. I'm like, look, bro, I got money. You bully me, but you're broke. <laughs> I was going to stay bad for bad with a kid. I put the money back in my... I, put my mo- I was uh, seven, maybe. I put the money back in my pocket, yeah. but I kept my hand there. Because something in me was like, this guy bullies me, maybe he will try to get the money from me. Mm-hmm. But in the process, there might I still believe till the day that he stole the money from me. But I don't know how he did it. Because I had my hand uh, in my pocket all the time, and he didn't move from my side. But I still lost the money. Till this day, I don't know how I lost the money. Because nobody went in my pockets. And when it was time for me to give to the principal, I walked to her room and I went there. I said, yeah, my mom gave me money. She's like, okay. Like, where my money at, bro? <laughs> where my money at? And then I started to chip. I was like, I don't have it. Lost and she money? My, uh, but yeah, she wasn't a bitch to me. She was like, ah, shit happens. <coughs> really? So maybe she had the money. She was like, ah, it doesn't matter because I already have your money, you stupid little chi- kid. <laughs> So, uh, to this day, it's a mystery to me who has my money. Because I really don't know. Yeah. Was it just money for you or for your siblings as well? Yeah, for my sister. Me and my sister went to the school. So. That's hilarious, man. So then, uh, from that day on, my mom gave nobody money no more. She just brought it herself. Really? Yeah. Ah, okay. My mom had the same thing with me, but I had to do the groceries. Yeah. I always lost money. Literally, I always lost money, bro. No, we, we used to have... Uh, because we also lived in the village, you could go to the store and tell him, yeah, you know my mom. Yeah, yeah. She will pay, pay you at the end of the month. And they had a book and they would just write it. Oh, it is Blair. Now for us, they I wouldn't even mom. write in the book. They would just be like, okay, we know. No more yeah. no, but it, a lot of people went to the store. Yeah, yeah. Our, our, our village was really big. So our they just wrote it. So I, w- I would literally go to the store and say, can I have candy? Can you write it on my mom's book? Oh, it's all right, bro. And then I would go. Now for us... Uh, uh, usually we would pay it like the same day or like the day afterwards because wow. we went to buy bread every single day because like yeah. the bakeries were the same as like the, the stores. Yeah. And we had a lot of stores. Maybe you guys didn't have like as many, as many stores as us. Yeah. But but we, we had, had like, like we had a big supermarket like, like, a, like a franchise. Yeah. That one you had to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah You exactly. couldn't say... Uh, it's like uh, a brand. Yeah, it's a brand thing. 
But the local stores, the little supermarkets that had yeah. a lot of different stuff, as long as they you know them, you're good. Yeah, they knew they they didn't mind. They would always give us stuff for uh, to yeah. pay later on and shit. So that was really nice. But yeah, for school we had to pay, and for uh, Quran lessons. I remember my Quran teacher once poked himself with a stick and it went through his hand. Then I didn't have to go to Quran lessons for a month, and I was really happy. Really? Yeah. How, did he, how did he poke himself with a stick? Uh, still this day, I don't know, bro. He had this stick that he would beat the children with. And maybe one kid prayed to God and said, <laughs> help me out. <laughs> and then the stock, w- I don't know how it went. It, it literally went through his hand. That's crazy. So that's what God you get for beating up children. <laughs> God answered, bro. God answered. So uh, Now we had to pay for school as well. And we had to pay for... The uniforms. Did you guys, you guys paid for gas? Gas? We had uh, barrels. What, for what? For gas. Why did you have barrels of gas? To cook with. In school? No, at home. Oh, yeah, yeah we had to pay for gas. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about the barrels. I was like, at school. I, was like I don't know what they're <laughs> called. We had look, those barrels. Yeah, yeah we, we, uh, in Tur- Turkey uses that as well. Yeah, so. Because we don't for have those, like, we uh, had to pay. We need to go to the gas Also station. for the water. I don't know if you guys had that too. Hmm? We had like the 20 liter, liter no, bottles. The thing we had, we used to live in a luxury flat. Yeah. Our flat had like a own water supply. So once a week or a month, I don't remember at the time because I was a child, a big truck would come with water and it would fill it. Ah, and okay. then the whole flat had water. But Was it drinkable? W- yeah, it was drinkable water. Oh, we okay. drank that. We uh, No, no, we didn't drink that. I don't remember. Maybe we did. I don't know. I was a child, bro. <laughs> I don't remember. But we took showers with that. That yeah. I want to remember. And sometimes, if the water was too low, it would be empty. Yeah. And exactly. then you was mid shower. You had s- shampoo in your hair, soap on your face. And then the water would just cut. Yeah, exactly. They're like, God damn, bro. No, but for the same. for those scenarios, we had the barrels filled with water in the b- in the in the bathroom. Now for us, the barrels were to drink, and we had like normal water too. Yeah. The wa- water was an issue. Sometimes the water would like uh, the pressure would go away yeah. because of the pipes are bad or whatever. Some something exploded somewhere. But for drinking, you had to like order twenty liter like big bottles, and you yeah, would yeah. use one weekly, I think. Yeah. The water wasn't. Uh, yeah, we had like uh, and the and the water guy also sells the the gas. Uh, but uh, for us, it was only the guy. The gas guy only sold the gas. Ah, uh, okay. I would always go with it to with him to him, and then he would give me the new barrel, and then I would go home. And you had like the metal barrel, right? Yeah. yeah. And you got like you got like the screw the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That shit scared me off, bro. What? <laughs> yeah, when you open it up for the yeah. first time, you're like, Tss. Yeah. it feels like I'm gonna explode or some shit. I ah, was like, was scared because it. it's metal, yeah. and you learn like metal, like if you if you touch anything to it, it's gonna like spark. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, if I open it up and it sparks, I'm gonna explode. Yeah. I wasn't really afraid of it. I did not like that shit, man. You know what I was afraid of? What? Uh, flying cockroaches. Have you ever seen a flying cockroach? Maybe. Don't all cockroaches fly? No, no. The small ones don't fly. The big ones How fly. big is a big one? It's like this. Isn't that a scarab? No, it's a it's a cockroach. So l- look it up. I'm looking up flying cockroaches. There are flying cockroaches and they're fucking scary. Because they're big. If they were small, they wouldn't be less scary. But they're mm. big. This, yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's it's the same as a cockroach. It's just bigger, yeah, and it can fly. And it's really scary because it flies. You know, you lo- you lose the control. If you see a normal cockroach, just stamp on it and kill it. But they don't die. They die, of course. Apparently, cockroaches can survive nuclear nukes. No, but if you stand on them, they die. Even some white shit comes out of them. Well, how can how can a cockroach survive a nuke but die because someone stepped on it? No, maybe they can survive a nuke because they can survive the air and the pollution or something. I think that's what they mean. I don't think they mean they can survive the attack literally. Because if the attack is taking down buildings, bro, no way a cockroach will survive that. Oh, so what happens is that it has a slower cell reproduction cycle, mm-hmm. so it can withstand radiation. That's what I mean. Yeah, that that one I would get, but. If you stand on them, they die, bro. They're really weak. They're not that strong. Mm. Mm, interesting, interesting. 
The intensity of the heat from the nuclear blast will ki- kill cockroaches instantly if exposed. Cockroaches are nasty, man. I'm glad we don't have cockroaches in this country. Don't we have them? I don't think so. I've never seen a cockroach in this country. <coughs> I think uh, it also has to do with hygiene. I think the hygiene in this country is really high. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. But maybe it's, uh, it has to do with temperature too. Maybe they it's live in uh, hot probably. places. Yeah. Talk about hygiene. I saw that the uh, a video about why Muslims didn't have the the plague. Yeah, yeah, I know. Talk about Muslims, bro. Dune. Have you watched Dune? No. Apparently, Dune takes a lot of credit from the Muslim, from the Islam yeah, community. It is inspired by a Persian story, right? Something like that. I have no clue, bro. I recently, I literally found out about what Dune is last week. And you watched and the movie? I watched the bo- I watched them both. They're really, yeah. really good, bro. Honestly, uh, uh, Star Wars stole a lot, of shi- a lot of shit from Dune. Star Wars used to be like my favorite sci-fi shit, bro. Mm-hmm. But I watched Dune and I'm like, damn, bro. This is great. This is really, really good. Well, you're saying this because Star Wars came out 30 years ago. Dune right? came out before that. Not the movie. The book. Yeah, it's, of, of course, the book. And the and the movie came in, out in 85. But I think you're, it's more glorified now because the movie quality is way better than Star Wars was back then. No, not only that, but the story itself is really good. Maybe Star Wars book is better than the There's Dune no book. book. No? No, it's, it's a straight up movie. So Lucas something George came up Luke, with it? Uh, George Lucas, yeah. Smart thing. He came up with it. He he made a whole franchise, this and that. Oh, that's nice, man. I didn't know. I thought it was inspired by something. By Dune. <laughs> you see, he, he admitted? Bro, uh, n- he never admitted it, but there's so many, like, resemblances. Assemblance. Both movies, Dune takes planet uh, uh, space on Arrakis. Uh, Star Wars, the o- o- old ones, take pla- uh, start off in a desert planet too, Tatooine. They're both a story about the Chosen One. The both chosen one don't want to be the chosen one, but end up being the chosen one. And by being the chosen one, they end up doing bad shit. One ends up creating a fucking intergalactic jihad, and uh, is is the second coming of Imam Mahdi and so uh, and shit. And uh, Star Wars, you got Anakin Skywalker that becomes Darth Vader and fucking blows up planets and shit. In a way, in both have like resemblances. In in Star Wars, you have Princess Leia. In Dune, apparently, you have Princess Aleia. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidence. Maybe. Coincidence, maybe not. In in Dune, you have the voice. The people talk, and they make you do stuff. In Star Wars, you have the force. You, sh- you think about stuff and make people do stuff. Yeah. And the dude was like, they stole my shit. I just want my credit. And at some point, they never gave him credit. So he wrote like a book, and he called people... Like a character from Star Wars, like C three PO. He's like, these are three POs. They're they're renowned for stealing other people's identity and shit. He literally yeah. bashed the whole Star Wars thing in it. But it's really good, man. The the cinematography is really the problem with the Star Wars shit is it's made for like children at this point. Yeah. It's really goofy. Not fun. But Dune, it's so good, bro. The actors are really, really good actors in there. Acting is crazy, cinematography cinematography is crazy. I I never was a huge fan of Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet, Chalamet. I don't know what the Chalamet. dude's name is. is Chalamet. <laughs> Timothy Charlemagne. I don't know what the dude's name is, bro. But shout out to you, bro. Man, did some crazy shit in the movie. He's a good actor, right? This is really really good. People are saying he's the next Leo. I don't know about that, man. He's uh, it's uh, something big. He's the youngest actor to be uh, nominated for Oscar. Oscar. I don't really read and the Oscars. Yeah, really, man. really good movies. I don't Already, really bro. He's like, he's our, our age and he has really, really good movies. Yeah. And the Dune franchise is only getting better, man. Dune 2, really fucking good. There will he be has a like Dune a speech. 3. People, were, yeah, yeah, there's definitely going to be one. It's, it's uh, So, Dune 1, I watched Dune 1 first. People said it's not that good, this and that, you know. I watched it. Cinematography was great. The visuals were amazing, but not much happened in it. Great cast, Oscar Isaac. Uh, if you, you don't know the names, but if you see them, then they, uh, if you see them, you know who they are. Dave Bautista, you know him. <laughs> Great cast, but it was so slow, and nothing happens in it pretty much. Yeah. Quick recap. There's this, uh, there's families, 
galactic families. This is 10,000 years uh, in the future. Galactic families and one of the houses, House Atreides, that's the house where the main character comes from, Timothy. Um, his name is Paul. That's the savior of the fucking universe, Paul. <laughs> so he is uh, the son of Leto Atreides. And Leto Atreides is married to this Bene Gesserit. And Bene Gesserit are these women that can use the force, the voice, and they reproduce what like the powerhouses to create the genetic perfect specimen so that that person uh, can end up being the chosen one and rule the universe. Yeah. And the Bene Gesserit are making it so that the person that the is born is so like calculated that the person that's going to be born, they can control that person too and have control over him. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's the whole that's the whole purpose. So the Atreides house is really strong. Yeah. And uh, they send the Bene Gesserit over to get a daughter with them because they're not allowed to have a son. The first son has to be the chosen one. So the, they, they can literally control their body to only get women. Oh, that's they can do that right now also in real know. life. No way. Yeah, there's like this. Who was it again? There was it was recently in the news. Like but, but like the the men control it, not women. No, no, bro. There's there was this famous person that was like, I want to have a daughter. Oh, but they like can the manipulate manipulate the genes in some way. So you can get a. Maybe they just like daughter. choose the right cell. How do you do that? Because you know the cells. No, because every the sperm. Bo- everybody is born a woman. No. Now not born a woman, but your first stage you're a woman. Then you get balls and dick. Yeah, exactly. But that's because you have the Y chromosome. Yeah. So you have the X chromosome. Mm-hmm. And the X chromosome is the female chromosome. Mm-hmm. So you are born with the X chromosome immediately because your mom has the X chromosome in you. Yeah. But your dad decides if you get the X or the Y chromosome. The sperm. Yeah. So... Maybe what they do is they select the sperms and look which one has the Y chromosome and which one has the X chromosomes. And that's how they're like, oh, this sperm has X chromosome, this one has Y chromosome. Let's I think they manipulate it. I don't think it's that. I think they manipulate something. But that's hard to do because you have to like change it before it even happens. Cause no. You, you can't All you need to do is block it from changing to a, a few, uh, boy. No, but it doesn't change to a boy. It does. That's what I'm telling you. No, because it's the, it's the chromosome. You can't block the chromosome. Because then maybe you have a, literally a baby that's in the syndrome of Down. No, no, no. Maybe th- they're doing something that they can block testosterone or something in No, the because embryo. then you have an X and Y chromosome in you. And if you have an X and Y chromosome, you are physically going to be a boy. But there are cases that you don't be, uh, you're a boy, but you're in a female body. But then you're intersex, right? I don't know what it's called. I was on an episode of Dr. House. I don't know if you watched Dr. House. The sh- I don't watch it either. There was this episode... And there was like this top uh, top model girl. Yeah. She was a top model. She was 14 years old. But she had like crazy body. Like yeah, yeah. All her like female parts were really female. They were like so, they were like 10 out of 10s basically. Yeah. All her female parts. And she got sick. And they realized after doing a lot of researches that she had ball cancer, testicle cancer. Yeah. And, she, and they were like, ah, how the fuck does she have testicle cancer? And they were oh, like, we do. But she, the testicles she are is there. actually a he. And he was like, uh, the ultimate woman is a man. Don't like the quote from that. I, 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 don't th- <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's real, though. Because women have testicles, too, in, like, in a way. Ovaries. No, you know, no, no. Listen. You know, ovaries drop and they become our testicles, right? Yeah, yeah. So, in this process, with the boy, it didn't happen. But the, is that really? Is that but real? But he literally had his balls still in him. So it was like once in the, I don't know, a couple millions. There's well, a the case that that's that intersex. Intersex. intersex that you have both, right? Yeah. No, she didn't have both. No, but you have like a sign of both. If you have still balls inside you, you're intersex. As far as what I is this TV show? Maybe they just lied to me. Maybe they just maybe lied, they lied, to, lied you. to me. But basically, the Bene Gesserit can change their body in a way that they can resist poison, that they can decide if it's going to be a boy or a girl. And for millions, for, no, for, for thousands of years, the Bene Gesserit are like, every single generation, they just get ma- married and have kids with the strongest person there so that they can have a daughter and the daughter has going to be having kids with the strongest person then again until they create the gen- the perfect genetic... Uh, or just stat-padding. Stat yeah, literally. Yeah. 
what happened is uh, the generation before the the Krizatz Hadarach, the chosen one, was going to be born. The last woman that's going to birth a, a daughter that's going to birth the the chosen one, she was she fell in love with Leto Atreides, like the strongest family there. And the Atreides family are known to be free spirited. Like mm-hmm. literally, one of the guys died because he was like fighting bulls instead of being like a king and shit. And they don't want like the the emperor is scared of the Atreides family because they're like rivaling them in power. Yeah. And the emperor rules over all the families pretty much. He gives like the, the things this and that. And uh, there's like other families and the families are feuding with each other. And the Harkonnens were going to be the ones uh, that were going to have the chosen one. The Because Har- Harkonnens are easy to control. That's what's going to work out. But what happened, the girl fell in love with Lido Hadridis and the dude was like, I want a boy. So she made a boy. Oh. <laughs> and she's like, I believe my son is going to be the chosen one. And he was the chosen one. So, no, not actually. His son is the chosen one. The son of the son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But the son is supposedly the false messiah. Yeah. They call him like the Imam Mahdi. Yeah. Pretty much. But he goes on Arrakis. Uh, this and that happens. And the whole lore is pretty much the one uh, the one that can see the future is him. And he has to like drink this, this warm piss. And... Uh, Men die when they drink the warm piss, but women don't. That's why women have to drink it, but the chosen one can drink it too. And what happens is when women drink the warm piss, they can see the the memories of all their ancestors. Yeah. But when men can drink it, when when men do drink it, they see the memories of all their ancestors, but also from the men, okay. not only from the women. So that's why they're stronger because they can see men and women like yeah. crazy. All the other chosen one before that, they can see everything. He drinks the juice, he sees the future, and then he starts a galactic jihad. Sounds like the Avatar series. No. Less airbender. No, 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 the chosen no. one. He can no, see his ancestors, he, connect with them. In a way, yeah, 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 literally, literally. In a way, that, 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 that part is kind of similar. To reunite the world. No, he does not do that. Okay. He fights to be a dictator. Okay. And then his son fuses with this worm and lives for 4,000 years, and he's the chosen one, actually, and his son becomes the the chosen one, and, and he, he rules the fucking galaxy until he gets assassinated. Because people thought, oh, yeah, he actually doesn't do the right thing, but he can see the future, so he sees all the best like options that he can do for the rest of the entirety. That's really dope. Yeah, it's like very, very, there's no end to it. You know who needed that? What? He say so already. <laughs> maybe, maybe he wouldn't die then. The worm body? Interesting man. Oh, really I wonder. Movie. I wonder if like stories like that were also back in the day, maybe in the Roman time or before. They were, bro. If people had like s- really deep stories like that. They they did. The Epic of Gilgamesh. Have you ever heard about that? That's no. the oldest story written by mankind. How old is it? Do you know roughly? It's from like Mesopotamia. So like um, five thousand. I think l- like 2000 before the Christ. Bible was written. What 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 Bible? Christ? Yeah, or no, any verse of the Bible. So maybe also the 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 Jewish one. Or maybe then for uh, they don't really know what time Moses lived. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. They have like a time frame of 2000 years. <laughs> how, do, how do they know that? Though? Because like the slaves in, in in Egypt. But there were a lot of slaves in Egypt. How did you know which one were specific? Because the Jewish slaves in Egypt, bro. I don't know, man. Because he crossed the Red Sea, right? Yeah. yeah. But nobody wrote that in, in in their diary. Oh, yeah, today there's a guy <laughs> crossed the sea, so... I'm nah, pretty like sure they don't know. They just yeah, assume they know when the like when the s- they know when like the whole shit happened, right? When the when the fro- when the cockroaches were like falling and shit. How the fuck do they, do they know that? They don't. What do you mean they don't? How how, how are they supposed to know that? Bro, they go back know in history and see if they're. They uh, literally know when the Red Sea was parted, bro. They don't. They literally know that. You can look it up, bro. They don't. They assume it is around that time. But how the fuck do they know? Just they found just footsteps take underwater. Okay, and those footsteps were. From Moses and his guys. No, but uh, the, those footsteps were 2,000 years before Christ. Apparently. When was the Red 
But how did you know? Imagine, I would think water would do something with the footsteps. Between 1200 and 1500 BC. Uh, 2000, almost 2000 years before Christ. That's <laughs> not almost 2000, it's almost a thousand years before Christ. Nah. Yeah. That's more than a thousand years before Christ. Yeah, but it's, it's not 2K. It's almost 2K. It's, it's, close. Clo- it's close to 1K, bro, that 2K. <laughs> Calm down, man. <laughs> Maybe. I don't believe that, man. Uh, but how do they know if Moses maybe maybe he lived for five hundred years? That's crazy, bro. How, how why would that be crazy? They don't know what the average lifespan was from people back in the day. You know, we didn't have pollution and shit, no climate change. That's, cra- maybe. that's crazy. <laughs> but if, if people could cross the sea, you don't think they could be a couple <laughs> hundred years old? <laughs> <laughs> You're making a really really good point. Not gonna uh, lie. But so yeah, apparently the they built the pyramids, but. <laughs> Hundred years is too much. <laughs> the pyramids were built really quickly too. Yeah. To this day, bro, I don't get it. Bro, I saw this old video, bro. I have a theory. Bro, I saw this video it was and a it, it made me blow my mind. What? You remember when, when Levi Dendo was telling us about they use the triangles to, yeah. to vibrate and shit? I saw this dude randomly. He had like this metal thing on his head. With good. like a pyramid on the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the rocks on the sides and shit. Yeah. And he did something to it and it started vibrating the pyramid. Yeah. I saw that one too. I was like, what the fuck? Maybe they, maybe he was onto something, <laughs> bro. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the the plug was correct. The plug was actually correct, bro. Yeah. No, I've I've seen that video too, but I don't really understand. It's the thing with the guys that do and then they like make the aluminium foil go move and shit. Nah, that's the the funniest one for me is the cloud one, man. Water bottle. The it cloud. Like the cloud, bro. Oh, the cloud, uh, no, the cloud people are That's sick. the funniest thing ever, bro. But those people are, so it's said, but they're not... N- I need I need one of them on Osmosis one day. They're crazy, man. I need, I need that one, one I don't one. get. Why not? The the water bottle guy I get. He's actually moving the fucking water bottle. <laughs> 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 but they just uh, sit, uh, sit around and do, do like they're moving the, the clouds. Cloud. But the clouds always move. No, but it disappears. Didn't you see it disappear? Disappear? Yeah, the cloud just like dissipated. Clouds don't disappear; they just move out of your sight. No, no, it literally disappeared. How did it disappear? They it rained. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was a sunny day. And there were like clouds, yeah. and then they stood like this for forty minutes, and the clouds just like came over to them, and then just they disappeared. Well, I didn't see that. I, I didn't have the patience to watch all the whole. Nah, that shit was hilarious, bro. That shit was actually. Did I send it to you on Instagram or on fucking TikTok? I don't remember, but tell me the story about Gilgalesh. Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. So, bro, Gilgamesh apparently was this dude who was um, the king, the fifth king of Mesopotamia, I think. And he was unstoppable. Like, he would... He, <laughs> he was two parts God, one part human. And before anyone would get married, he would fuck their wife. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, bro. That's, that's, the, that's the only reason why I know. But, like, he would just fuck anyone's wife. Uh, oh, no. He was the king of Uruk. 2,652. He was king for 50 years. That's crazy, actually. That's not crazy. Because people became king at the uh, young age, 15, 20, back in the day. And he was crazy, bro. This dude was... um, he was, Crazy shit was being written about this dude, bro. He was the leader. He was a real person? Yeah, supposedly, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was... Um, he was the hero of Mesopotamia, yeah. So this is the oldest story ever written. And basically, he would fuck anyone's wife right before they got married. He would just get all the bitches. He did not give a shit, bro. He was the ultimate Chad. Yeah. And what happened was um, the gods didn't like him, I think. And they sent over this dude named Enkidu. Yeah. And Enkidu was like a warrior from the gods. So Enkidu and Gilgamesh had a wrestling match. And they were yeah. wrestling and shit. And Enkidu lost. But Gilgamesh and Enkidu became best friends. The mosquito is literally on your forehead. Really? That's crazy. So the gods were like, bro, what the hell? The, the whole... No, the... Yeah, yeah, the, the goddess was, of... No, no, no. I, I was I, distracted. I, I said wrong. I was distracted okay, okay. By the so mosquito. basically Gilgamesh fucked everyone and yeah. anyone... And people wanted him gone. Yeah. The goddess of love was like, I want Gilgamesh. She likes him. She likes him. Okay. 
Gilgamesh is like, nah, bitch, I'm good. Yeah. I'm fucking all these other hoes. Yeah. So basically, Goddess of Love is like, fuck it, bro. I'm going to send Enkidu to fight you. Yeah. He's going to kill your ass. She sends Enkidu over. Enkidu and, and Gilgamesh are fighting. They have a wrestling match. Very manly. Enkidu loses. And yeah. Gilgamesh and Enkidu, instead of, you know, killing each other, they become best friends. They gain each yeah. other's respect. The Goddess of Love is like, what the fuck? That's not supposed to happen. Yeah. So she sends like this golden bull that that's gonna like is a god slayer. Yeah. But what do we know? Enkidu and Gilgamesh are not friends. So these two motherfuckers fuck up the the, the bull. They yeah. kill the bull. Yeah. All these other gods get mad at them. So they curse Gilgamesh and Enkidu. The Gilgamesh and Enkidu continue on fighting all these fucking shit, become legends, become this and that. And the Enkidu dies because the gods cursed him. And Gilgamesh is the old one. And that's the epic of Gilgamesh. So, Ing- Ingemu or something dies? Yeah. But the other guy lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm gonna fuck this fly up. That's a mosquito, bro. But yeah, they didn't even kill Gil- Gilgamesh. <laughs> bro, what's, what's the point of the story? Nah, it's a story. The point of the story is if you fuck other people's wives, nah, you will no always point. get it. It's the first ever written story, it's bro. You will get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ca- no, I'm curious who wrote it and why the fuck did he write that? Because he wanted to tell the story of Gilgamesh. It's so strange, bro. bro what, what? There's no purpose. There's no. It's the first ever written story, bro. <laughs> give them give, give them as a slack, bro. He didn't have like, oh, no, let, me, let, no, let me base it on imagine, something else. Imagine you're the first person ever to write a story. Why the fuck would you write that, bro? What was so interesting about it that you was like, yeah, let me write it's it. It's the first one. Maybe Gilgamesh wrote it. Did you know that the oldest joke, your mom joke, is also like 4,000 years old? Yeah, I know that. Maybe Gilgamesh wrote it. Probably. Yeah. And then he made himself fucking two parts God and yeah. shit. Maybe he wasn't a chat and he just wanted to be a chat, so he just wrote it. It'd be like that, man. It could be too. The same with the guy that 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 I got my name off of, based off of. Yeah, you told Khan. Yeah. That story is fucking ridiculous, bro. <laughs> bro, the fucking flies, the mosquitoes are fucking me up, bro. Yes. Uh, but basically, you remember the story, season. right? Within twelve, within twelve hours, my man was like, "Fuck milk, bro. Give me some, give me some booze. Give me some fermented horse milk." Yeah. And he was drinking that shit and eating meat, and in forty days he was a full grown man. Fighting dragons and shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's uh, a lot. I love folk folklore. Folklore. Some are really interesting. But I think really most folklores have the same stories, but in new jackets, in different jackets. Do they though? A lot of them have like the same message. Uh, and I, d- and I think my story is: one guy started to tell the stories, and then people kept traveling because back in the day, people just traveled. Then they would tell the story to other people, and everybody would add their own sauce. Yeah, I they saw this meme about this this exact subject we're talking about right now. It was like every guy on the podcast be like, um, "Did you know that the every single ancient civilization was talking about dragons? So that means that either dragons lived, or dinosaurs lived back in two thousand five hundred BC, or." Humans lived six million years ago and shit. As like this common subject that people like mock on podcasters. I've never seen it, man. Really? No. It's hilarious, bro. People, people are like doing shit like that. Not everyone, sh- not, not everyone should have a platform, though. I do agree with that. No, no, I agree. No, I don't agree with that. I think Why everybody else? should have a platform. I don't think so, man. It's at the end of the day, it's your choice. It's your choice to attend it or not. I see podcasting as YouTube. Do you think pedophiles should have a own platform? No, no, that's not, that's not what I said, bro. <laughs> that's not what I said. Bro, I'm just, then, uh, I'm just repeating what you said, bro. No, what I'm saying is, I see po- a lot of people are like, nah, podcast uh, needs to be limited. They say mics, mics prices need to go up and stuff. But I just see this YouTube. Yeah. You know, back in the day, people also used to say, why everybody t- suddenly trying to become a YouTuber? They're like, nah, uh, look for a job or something. Stop trying to be a YouTuber. Till YouTube being a YouTuber became cool. And like people started to make crazy money with it and shit. Same with streaming. It was like, why, what the fuck would you stream? Like, no, uh, somebody gonna watch you. And now you have like big creators streaming, nice making millions and stuff. Exactly. So now streaming is also cool. And a lot of people are doing it. And Drake. And yeah. And Boing. I see podcasting the same as 
as YouTube. I think it's just people trying to do their thing. And the same with YouTube. If you don't like a video, if you don't like something, you don't watch it. I don't know why you should get all angry about it. I don't think it's that deep. I think it's people that live in a twisted society where you should just give up on creativity and entertainment and just work for stuff. No, I, feel like I think it's just because it's new. No, I feel like people underestimate the amount of work that goes in it, to be honest. Because like realistically, okay, when you are established already, you have a great thing going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. So people people hate always when you have made it. Like look at the Hassan stuff, you know? He said, but that's also because people are making weird statements. Like Hassan said like, oh, I'm working 12 hours a day, this and that. And I watched the Abba and Preach reaction to that, and they're definitely right about what he's saying. At this point, what he's saying is not legit because he has so much money and he's a Nepo baby because he comes from a very, very rich family. And when he talks about this stuff like that, at that point, it's kind of delusional. You're so out of touch with reality because you yourself are like, oh yeah, I should be earning this much money. I'm not er- earning enough for the amount of time I'm putting in it. My job is harder than your job, this and that. I'm like, that's delusional. But... And people look at that type of stuff and they're like, oh, he's getting that much money for this amount, this little amount of work. They don't deserve that. But then you also got people that are starting off with the shit. They are working jobs and they're doing that. And people discredit the effort that they put into the side hustle that they're doing. Like us, we're doing this right now. It takes a day of recording, like four or five hours. And then it takes us editing the shit. It takes us doing that, doing this, research, all that stuff. And all that work that we're putting into it, nobody sees that. Yeah. So all they see is it's a two-hour long video, and for two hours they make this much amount of money. For beginners, people don't take it serious because you don't earn, earn enough money with it. So they're like, bro, what, why are you even doing that? It's not going to get you anywhere. And once you actually make it, it changes. Because now you made it, you proved them wrong, and now it is, oh, why are we paying people like this money? They're not even doing anything not seeing all the effort that we put into getting there and all that stuff that's taken there. Of course, at that point, it's not just we're making money because we're online for two hours. We're making money because we put so much effort into getting here, first of all, and this and that. So there's like two sides to the story, bro. And I feel like people are just hating because they don't want to put the extra hours in after their normal job, but they just want to complain about people that did do it on why they're in earning that much money, more money than them. Uh, no, I definitely get your point. I agree with it too, but like I, I think it's more of it being a new thing. I think it's pe- and people, people. are uh, People are just like w- confused about people. Why are people starting podcasts? I think that's what they don't get. No, but I, I, don't, I don't think that people get what a podcast is. Yeah, that's what I mean. So because it's new, they don't know anything about it. They're well, like, well, uh, why suddenly? Why? Why? Why does everybody suddenly feel like they're entitled to have a platform to talk on? And no, I think I, also I feel because like people don't know what no, a podcast no, no, the yeah, actual is. Yeah, because podcasting is something that exists for since for the past maybe fifteen yeah. years. It's not something new, but even longer than that. Yeah, though. but in the past, it was always serious. It was always serious topics like news related interviews. So I think people, uh, people connect those two and they think oh if it's not serious if it's not an interview why the fuck are you doing it I don't think so I think think we have to it is because the people that did it not only have that but they have a certain qualification people hate it that everyone can do something and they hate it because they're not the one we're fighting a mosquito man. we're really fighting a fucking mosquito I think that people hate that they don't do something that's so easily... Bro. Oh, it's so not here, it's not here. Okay. What was I saying? Um, so, let's say a doctor, right? If a doctor earns a lot of money, I'm not going to be mad at him. Why? Because he goes to school for 10 years. If someone that didn't go to school to do something makes that much money off of something, people are going to be like, oh yeah, but th- this and that. Look at the people that became like millionaires with crypto. Right, yeah. a lot of people struck gold with it. Like it's it, it is pretty, pretty much gambling though. Or g- look at gambling people. There's people that are really good at gambling, literally, yeah. and they make money gambling. And people hate on them, being like, "Yeah, gambling is not good. Gambling is this. It's a risky thing. It's not sustainable for life. Get a job. This and that. Or crypto is not good. Get a job. Investing is not good. Get a job. This and that. Or 
podcasting, content creation is not good, get a job, this and that. I think that people do something because they're afraid to take a risk because it is something risky to do. And they expect that people that do something like that, they're either very, very famous, so they can do it, or they have a qualification to be able to do it. Uh, yeah. And now, because it is so accessible, so many people can do it without being qualified to do it. Yeah, I can buy a mic and start a podcast. Yeah. Like literally, that's how we started two years ago, three years ago. We literally had a—I f- didn't even have a mic. And actually, no, I did. I barely just had a new mic that I had two months that I was using for gaming, and I was like, "Fuck it, let's just use a podcast." Yeah. And we did that. You know what I mean? So because it is so easy for everyone to do, people are like, "Oh, now it's not special anymore because you don't have to be qualified to do it." Yeah. So y- if you're not qualified to do it, people are like, "Oh, he didn't go to school for ten years for this." But he's making this much money. Oh, he should not be able to make this much money because I went to school for four years and I'm making less money than him. Yeah. I did something for this, for the same shit that we're doing, but I'm getting less paid than him. And they don't look at the, the time and effort that you put into it that was like maybe even more than his study. Yeah, because they don't see it. Exactly. So that's the difference. And I think that that's the reason why people hate on stuff. Same with YouTube. Like people don't see the fucking thousands of videos that, that you made, recorded this and that, the voiceovers, the re-records because you fucked up the video. People don't see that. They only see the, the shit that blows up. Yeah. But look at Mr. Beast. People are like, oh, what the fuck is Mr. Beast, this and that. But like, Mans was literally counted to 100,000. The thing with Mr. Beast just straight, bro. showed me that you will never be good enough to satisfy people. People are just haters. People, people bro, he donated money to, to charity. He's yeah, like, oh they yeah, were hating on him. This and that, bro. They're hating on him for that. But they, bro. Oh, he could have done more. No. They were hating on him. No, no, no but like some people are even saying that, bro. Yeah. Like, uh, people will never be satisfied because yeah. people always look for something to hate. You know, you know what I don't get when he's giving an island to his, uh, to random people, when he's giving a chocolate factory yeah. to random people, when he gives millions in a squid game game to random people. It's ah, oh, awesome, man, G- good video. But the moment he actually starts to help people, it's like, bro, you're using them for fuse. Uh, you could have done more, blah blah blah. But that energy wasn't there when he was giving. People that were like you. For even people hated at that point. People are like, oh, this man just put his, his whole entire bloodline into depth by giving him a plane. I'm like, bro, you could sell the plane. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But some people are so... I think just people... I don't want to call them stupid, but I think they are not stupid. They just want to hate. They, they, they literally want to hate. Yeah. Because they see that someone else is doing something that they're, they, they are not doing. Yeah. And they feel like in their own life... If you're not like not it's the capable with of doing maybe it, maybe random subject, but it's the same with Sneeko now because Sneeko is a Muslim uh, yeah. right now. And also today, I literally saw a video of him reading the Quran. Literally, yeah. he was reading Surah al fatiha from his memory, uh, if I'm correct. He was reading it, and he was sitting next to his friend, and uh, he, his friend was really excited, and he was excited, and they were happy. And somebody in the comments was like, "Took him so long to do this, or something like that." They were like hating on the fact that he actually. Was doing stuff, and this something I don't get, bro. How bro, can how can you hate bro, you on a fellow I know Muslim it is Ramadan, bro. while he's reading the Quran? Bro, I know it is Ramadan, bro. But you know what I hate? I hate my fellow Muslims sometimes, bro. I uh, hate the I hate the Muslims that spend their time on fucking internet, bro. Yes. I hate the I hate the haram fucking police. police, bro. You guys are literally useless, bro. Do something with your life. Oh uh, yeah, this this is going yes. on TikTok, bro. Do something with your life. Around police, you guys are literally useless to society. You bring nothing to society. You literally only hate on people. You judge people. It's literally forbidden in our fucking religion to judge people, bro. And you're judging people. What do you mean they are not doing their job correctly, bro? You're literally doing shit that is not allowed by doing that shit. Yeah. Bro, are you God, bro? Who are you policing for? Yeah, I don't, bro, I don't, I don't get this, bro. I don't get the people that, that, that say shit like, yeah, bro, in Islam, we don't use our brains to do... Bro, you're, you're the reason why people think we're stupid, bro. You're the reason why people think we eat fucking worms out of the fucking desert and shit, bro. Yeah. Literally the reason why people think we're going... And fucking talk with, like, miles away and shit, bro. <laughs> no, Fly on carpets and shit, bro. Fly on carpets. <laughs> yeah. I swear, bro, Haram Mafia, the Haram fucking police, is the... the the. I hate it, bro. Yeah. If, if it is... It's hard. To, I don't know how to explain it, but if it had purpose, I would understand. But it has no purpose. It has no purpose, bro. There's no purpose. Bro, they literally take the time out of the day to just judge someone for something that they don't even know. 
Yeah. You don't also, know anything about I saw, me. I saw this video also like maybe yesterday. There was this girl and she made uh, a, tic- a TikTok. I don't remember. Stuff. She was like kind of making fun of men. Yeah, yeah. Not in a religious way. She just like made fun of men. And so it's a, it was a funny video. And then somebody comes to like, okay, but can you recite this in Islam? I'm like, bro, how did you link this to this? And then she replied by reciting it, by showing him I know this. Bro, that, I don't get that, bro. I remember this one time, bro, I had I was chilling with a, with a fucking old Twitch viewer of mine. He came into the call at 3 a.m. Yeah. I'm just playing my video games. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep in a bit. It's 3 a.m. I'm chilling. He's like, yo, bro, how you doing? How you doing? Long, long, long time no see. And I hadn't seen him in like seven, eight months. He joins the Discord. He joins the call random. I'm talking with him. He's like, yo, so how you doing, bro? I'm, I'm chilling. And he's like, you weren't you a Muslim, my guy? I was like, yeah. Ah, recite this verse for me. And I was like, what do you mean, bro? Yeah. He's like, yeah, prove to me you're a Muslim. I'm like, bro, who, who, are, you? who are you, bro? Yeah, to who me. are you, bro? So I'm like, I'm not going to do that shit. He's like, nah, you're not going to do it because you don't even know a single verse. Name, name, name one, well, one of the pillars of Islam and shit. And I'm like, I, I honestly said, bro, I, I'm not going to be able to name it to you because I know this shit in Turkish. Yeah. Because for some reason, bro, the Turkish people, we have yeah, like our own, version. <laughs> yeah. our own personal shit. Yeah. We literally have like our own. It is the same version. It's just like translated. Yeah. yeah. Loosely translated. So I'm like, we we call our like prayers differently as well, this and that. So I can like name them, but you're going to be like, I ain't ever heard of that. He's yeah. like, nah, nah, don't worry about it. He's like, just name one. And I named one. He's like, nah, bro, you're making shit up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I okay, bro. It, I and really then I looked it up it. for him. It's like, it's this one, bro. It's like, okay, okay. Now recite it for me. I'm like, bro, just get the fuck out of my car, bro. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, bro. I don't want to see <laughs> you no more. I don't get. I don't. I don't get the goal, bro. Like, why are you doing this, bro? I I don't I don't get it either, man. Like, I I or do they think that people are gonna like go to uh, Allah's gonna be like, hmm, you know what? I'm proud of what you did there for me, man. No, my 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 in my mind. Are you saying this? Are you expecting me to? Say, for example, I don't know something. Yeah, yeah. You come, you come to me aggressive, and you say, "Ah, you don't know it." Do you think that I will say, "Okay, teach me"? Bro, but th- that's not their point. They so don't want to teach I mean. you. So they're they're not trying to teach you something. They they genuinely don't want you to improve. They don't want you to to, to stop they're doing shit. Hate. They just want to s- hate and kind of say, "I'm better than you," <sighs> but they're not because they're judging and they're doing shit yeah, that literally, actually is not s- supposed to be doing. I don't get it, man. I really it's do a sad it. reality, man. I don't take them serious, man. I, I don't take them I, serious. I, I, I want so them to a like... A general mistake I could understand. For example, somebody d- doesn't know you're a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. And they're trying to teach you something or to say something. For example, I, uh, I had this once. I was outside and there was a guy that were giving free Qurans. You yeah. know, there's some of the preachers, they give free Qurans. So I was walking by and the guy was like, sorry, brother. He's called me brother. So I, in my mind, I was like, oh, maybe he knows I'm a Muslim. So why yeah, he called yeah. me brother? Then he stopped me and he was started to tell me about Islam. Uh, have you ever looked at it? And I said, Alhamdulillah, I'm a Muslim. Yeah. And he said, oh, sorry, my uh, my mistake, brother. But if you still want the Quran, I can give it to you. You know, <laughs> That's like a genuine conversation. Yeah, exactly. He was actually trying to teach me something. And he made the mistake that he didn't know I was Muslim, which is normal. I I didn't get angry about it because it's a, it's, it's normal. You yeah, don't the know intention Muslim, isn't bad. He, he had he had well intentions, and he was actually even if I said no, I'm not a Muslim. He w- he wanted to teach me something. Yeah, he was. Just, but those horrible people. He just wanted to have a normal like, conversation ah, with ah, you. Ah, ah, and then cl- done. Exactly. So this girl what doesn't wear uh, hijab or she does something haram. Ah, she does something haram. Bam. Yeah, bro, but we need to tell you, bro. You're not. You're. If your goal is. To st- st- to help people to stop them making something uh, doing something wrong, I get it because you're actually trying to do something. Exactly. But if you just want to point something out without taking the step to help a fellow human, you're basically exposing their sins. Even if they're one thing that I hear is when people say, "Yeah, but they already exposed their sins." For example, there's a girl and she does something that's uh, not uh, of the value of Islam, or a boy he does something that's not value of Islam. If you really care. Contact them, even send them a DM message, email. I don't go email them, and tell them our religion. Say, uh, sister, or brother, what you're doing doesn't go well in our values. Blah, blah. Try to educate them. And even if it doesn't happen, bro, you have no right into judging the people. Yeah, 
your job is like to try to help people out maybe someone at at some point is still lost maybe he he himself needs the time to realize his mistakes and and improve upon it and your job is literally to help someone out find help them find guidance and if it doesn't happen bro time you know at at some point people change people make mistakes yeah. it's normal we're human we literally are made to make mistakes yeah we make mistakes we learn from them and we move on but you like that's what I also don't get bro people are like well i did uh, i saw like this girl making um like she was like prepping the house yeah. for uh iftar for ramadan for people that don't know iftar is like when we break our fasting and i know for turkish it's like a tradition that we like once once every ramadan we have an iftar with the whole family everyone is there and you know it's like a whole event it's it's not only just iftar it's more like the whole family coming together yeah. like having a religious we're we're just celebrating that we're there you know family itself we're celebrating that as well and she was like making the house look nice doing this and that like doing all this extra stuff that like i've never seen everyone do but you know i see like she's trying to make the house look very nice you know make it cozy make it like ramadan themed she had like this this thing with like a moon sign on it yeah. i was like you know that's crazy i don't know what the fuck you're doing that shit for but you know it's whatever and in the comments everyone's like you know what this would be better with if you if you if you weren't sinning with this and that if this isn't christmas this is ramadan people are hitting us i'm like bro but like people have like different traditions too like you can have like it's where I didn't know fucking putting a sign that's like for Ramadan is forbidden in the Quran, bro. I don't know. I don't know if it's forbidden. And even that, bro, she didn't have like ill intentions. People, yeah. like, well, one of our whole, whole thing is that, correct me if I'm wrong, but the, one of like the most important things about our faith is that intentions are like the most important thing. Because yeah. if you're not ill intentioned, if your intentions are too badly to do that, you know, it's whatever. You can yeah. be like, hey, I see you're doing this, your intentions are bad, but. This is kind of too close to like celebration, this yeah. and that. It shouldn't be like this. Just saying. Yeah, they don't People explain. People are like hating. People just straight up are yeah. going like, you're a kafir, man. Yeah. That's what I said. Right? They, they literally have no goal. They're not explaining to you what you're They're doing wrong. They're not teaching you anything. They just go from, okay, he knows what he's doing is wrong. He does wrong. He does, he's doing it wrong. And I'm going to point him that I know that he's doing it wrong or that it is wrong. It's like, yeah, or he's going, going to hell. Yeah, just I see those a lot too. Are you going to? Tell. I'm like, bro, you're not. You don't. You're how not are you? Judge, bro. How do you know if he's going to tell or she's going to tell? Bro, how do you know you're not going to? Yeah, tell? it's uh, bro, the stuff like that annoys me. But I hope they find their path. Yes, I'm not even judging them. I'm just, I'm just telling them to stop. No, I don't understand the goal. Like I said, because because I know for a fact. If this shit was be going viral, people are like, but you're judging judging us by doing this yourself as well. I don't think I'm not judging that's anyone. Smart. I don't think they're that smart. I'm gonna be honest. And so I, what I said. I I think I think that they are gonna do that. Some of them. Some people are real. So people 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 hate for no reason, bro. Like we we did you had a talk, bro. People yeah. are gonna find a reason to hate. Yeah. People are gonna be, people are gonna take this out of context and make make it about us judging uh, fucking <laughs> Islamic people. They can make it, bro. You know what what happens then? We're gonna get the good side of Islam on our side. No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. They they get our bad deeds. So I, I hope, I look, you hope they do. They get my bad deeds. We let it. Did you know that? I do not that know if, that. If somebody, it's the same with the sin. If you did a sin and somebody exposes your sin, yeah, then they get the sin written on them. Really? Yeah, because you kept your sin for yourself. Ah. For example, okay. let's say I see you. Uh, Fucking a dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's an extreme example. Okay. But let, let me say, I see you eating during Ramadan. You're supposed okay. to fast, but I see you eat in the corner. In the toilet. Yeah, in the toilet. <laughs> and I and I tell other people about it. Then it's on me. Yeah. But what if it's like a joke? What if, what if you know that I'm eating because I'm actually allowed to eat for some wh whatever reason? Like I'm taking medicine, let's say, yeah. and I'm allowed to eat. And you make like a TikTok about me eating. Is that uh, like really exposing? Because nah, this is a joke. I don't know. I don't know, man. That's that's complicated. Because because people will hate on you. People are like, nah, bro. Yeah, how yeah, can actually, you do that? Yeah, Stop it loud, bro. Yeah. I don't know that one. I don't. Know. I'm not sure. But I would. I think as long as like I would be in the comments saying like, nah, guys, it's a joke. I'm taking medicine, yeah. this and that. People would actually people would be hating on me, not you. Yeah. That's so, even worse. I don't know. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, if uh, people expose your sin, then the sin is on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, that, uh, that's not even a sin. So you're not actually exposing a sin. 
you know what I mean? Because I like, let's say I'm actually allowed to eat no, and no, I no, eat. No, 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 no. At that point, it's not no. even a sin, right? No. Well, a lot of people also don't know what a sin is. Yeah. That's the that's the thing. Because there are a mistake and a sin are not the same. Yeah, but like, yeah. And apparently, sin means slip. So you slipped. That's what the sin means. In yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Old like if you're not biblical. allowed to do something. And no, no. In old biblical uh, stories. What do you mean slip? It's like going back into back, uh, bad habits, right? No, no. You slipped. So like you, d- you made a little mistake. Yeah, exactly. It's like like, well, like let's say like closing the window. Let's say closing the window is a sin. If you forgot to close the window once, that like you slipped. I don't know how how good this example is, but I'm going to just say yes. But yeah, I was watching this video I mean, about, I mean. about uh, language. And they were tracing the word sin back, like and what it means. And in the in the current date, sin is seen as something really Negative. bad, really horrible. But back in the day, sin was used for simple stuff. And uh, it's like it's like a li- little mistake. But as time developed, it got like this heavy uh, meaning to it. I think people directly assume that you're not allowed to sin you're not allowed to sin no i mean i mean you are no you're uh not like i mean I, i'm not with allowed i mean that you shouldn't go out to make sins yeah. i mean like if you sin it can happen yeah, yeah. you should learn from your mistakes you yeah. know what i mean yeah. but people are go like if you make a sin you're going to hell immediately yeah, there's yeah. no going back yeah you see if you if you're a sinner you go to hell there's no there's no uh, help for you, you it's done for you know what yeah. I mean but that's only with like the crazy sense like yeah. eating a man's wife <laughs> you, you've been giving some extreme examples tonight huh? <laughs> <laughs> do you have something to tell us <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, it was, uh, I was watching this video man it was really interesting and they were like giving examples of, of stories in the back that were also not biblical and people were using like I said yeah, uh, I had to work, uh, wake up early but I sinned and late or something and they were like they were using the word sin in s- it's like r- really casual ways. casual mistakes yeah. so they were like yeah i sinned today and it wasn't like oh shit i'm doomed it was yeah i made a mistake yeah i think yeah it's time it's time developed sin got like this heavy yeah, heavy exactly. uh Cause like loaded. people I think that the people like keep but also, that. But also, back to the harm police thing, it's also because a lot of people don't know their religion, man. It's uh, sad to say, but a lot of people just don't know their but religion. Don't talk about it, bro. You see, I, I myself, I'm going to keep it real, you know, I'm, I didn't, uh, I'm coming from a culture where um, religion, you know, we're all religious, but it's not that in, de- in depth up until you become a certain age, you know, yeah. you don't learn that much from the area that we I come from Turkey. So it's more um modern in a way whereas we uh we are a mix of the west european like habits with the the islamic ways. Yeah. Cuz we don't work on the sharia. And uh it's like kind of mix, you know. So we don't know that much about everything, but we know like the general stuff of course. Yeah. yeah. So there's stuff that I'm like, you know what? I don't know about it. And for me, it's really nice to hear that. And I'm learning about it. You know, uh, it's still, uh, as, as I grow older, I learn more about my faith. And I think everyone does that. You know, you learn more about your faith. Some people know more from the get-go. Some people learn more from the get-go. Other, other people take the time to get there. And for me, when I'm talking about religion, I'm trying to be as as broad as possible. And if I'm talking about something, I'm trying to, you know, I'm asking you, like, uh, to correct me if I'm wrong, this and that. Because... I have no ill intentions in what I'm telling people. I, I'm trying to do my the best in what I've learned from people and what I'm talking from people. And I literally try to, you know, not judge people for what they're doing because I know I made mistakes myself. I know people make mistakes, this and that. People, I feel like, I feel like people get like a different type of gradu- gratification when they try to like push on their own beliefs onto people. No, I'm and okay. that's something that I used to hate. And people like push something that they believe, even though it might not be righteous yeah. according to faith. Like so like judging people. Like some people. Now I'm going to give you another perspective. Yeah. What you said was correct, as in how you was brought up and stuff, and because of the way you was brought up, you was aware of your position. Yeah. But there are people that grow up in 
maybe Sharia laws and or like countries that religion is uh, uh, taught from really uh, young age and stuff and they are not able to make the difference between cultural and religion stuff. So a lot of stuff that they do culturally, they see it as religiously. So f- an example, there are a lot of Muslim countries that are not uh, Arabs, but when they pray and shit, they wear the Arabic clothing. Because they think that's a religious thing. Yeah. They think, okay, well, if me wearing a taupe is religious. But it's not religious. Yeah. That's cultural. So, some for that. Other example, maybe in a mis- Middle Eastern c- uh, country, a woman is not uh, culturally allowed to do something. But a lot of people link that with religion because they're brought up in a religious culture. They don't. They they're not able to make the difference between cultural and 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 what you was able to. You knew, okay, this is cultural, but, but this is also religious. But even with that, bro? but they don't know the difference. They all see it as religious. So everything they do is like correct. Because it's religious. We've been doing this always. Nah, 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 yeah. This is good. There's no problem because we do it. I think that there's an extra layer to that. Yeah. I think that a lot of that comes from people living in ignorance. Yeah. Because it's not just from their side that it comes from. It's also from our side. Because I know also from people from the Turkish habits, you know, yeah. that talk about the uh, the same stuff that people in Arab countries have. And they talk about them as like barbers and fucking uncivilized people doing this and that, you know. Um, and for us, we're Muslim, so that is like toned down. We don't look at it that way. But for the people that have lo- nothing to know with that, you know, because we're like Muslim, so we see certain habits and we don't associate with Islam because we ourselves are Islamic as well. So we're like, oh yeah, it has nothing to do with Islam. It's just their culture that's hella weird for us. But at the same time, I can see that from a Western point of view, where you have no Islam going on, that you see them and you're like, oh, so Muslims do this and that. Muslims don't know how to use forks and shit. They use their hands to eat. And they're like, oh, that's uncivilized. They they marry their cousins and shit. Yeah. And it's like, that's, well, look at yourself, bro. Yeah, <laughs> nah, but, yeah but yeah, it, it always comes down I think to it's ignorance. It, it always comes down to ignorance, but in a world where we like, where we could be such a strong like Islamic community, I hate the fact that Muslims themselves are so loud against each other and yeah. so hating against each other. But there's a, there's also like a lot of racism, discrimination in our co- on our religion too. Yeah. And in our religion, I mean people that are Muslims. People that are Muslim, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Not the religion itself. Because you're not allowed to be racist according yeah, yeah, to the religion itself. Which is another thing that people are looking... Uh, that's also weird, bro. I hate that I see so many like Muslim brothers talking about uh, uh like... A, bla- a woman going with a black man. Yeah. That's also Muslim. You know, they're both Muslim, but just it's a black man. And they're hating on him. They're yeah. hating on her for marrying with a black man. And it's like, yeah, uh, this and that. You're, you'll be disowned by this and that. Yeah, it's, uh, that's what I mean. Cultural thing. It's like, it is, it is sad to see, but my 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 personal opinion, I, bel- I it's maybe sad to say, but I genuinely believe a lot of people are Muslim, Christian, uh, Jewish, other religions, a lot of people are religious because their parents are religious, and not because they went on their exactly. own on their way to so search for a religion. I think a lot of people are just born into it, and if they were born Christian or Jewish, they just would be Jewish or Christian. Or yeah, if, yeah, exactly. if they are now Jewish or Christian and they would be born in a Muslim family household, they would be a Muslim. So uh, that's my message to the people listening or watching: Why are you religious, man? If you're religious. And if you're religious, religious because your parents are religious, what if your parents had another religion? Would you also have that religion? Yeah, they would. If that would, if they had the case, are you really religious? Is my question. Then. For you me, really that, believe that was the case. I, I think for everyone, that's the case. Realistically, everyone has the same thing, right? If you're born into a certain religion, you are that religion. Yeah, that's how it works. Mm-hmm. You know, because that's how you're brought up. But I think the extra step for you to do, and I think a lot of people are scared to do this, is. If you are truly religious, or if you're not religious, and or if you believe in some other religion, you should not be afraid of the consequences, man. Because if you truly believe in something, bro, if you're a Christian and you want to be a Muslim, if you truly believe in Islam, if you truly believe in something else, um, I don't think you should, like, 
try to enforce at least be quiet about it or something you know don't don't try to enforce it onto someone else without knowing anything on it yeah like if you want to talk about it speak of it you know spread it but don't don't be something that you're not does that make sense it sounds deep but it's not that deep i think don't be something else no don't be something that you're not so don't go on int- on Instagram hating on people for being fake Muslims when you yourself are just Muslim because your parents are Muslim and you oh actually okay, don't care about the religion. Yeah, like don't yeah. be something that you're not. Be- do it. Do it because you love to do it. Yeah. You know, for me, for uh, there was literally a time in my life where I hated to be Muslim. Yeah. Because I saw like the... Exactly because of Islam, uh, Haram police. Yeah. Because I was like, you know... I. I my mom is telling me all these stuff. My mom herself is telling me stuff like, you know, I have brought up. I I was brought up in a uh, Islamic way. I went to Quran school every single Saturday, this and that. But and I believe in Allah and shit. But the people, the way Islamic people behave, it makes me wonder if I'm myself a Muslim, because yeah. I'm not proud to be Muslim because of that. Because yeah, you don't associate with them. Yeah, because like that, that's, that's what my, that's what my mom had. You know, yeah. and she still she fast. Uh, you know. Uh, you know pretty often with me like she started fasting when i started fasting as well and uh for me you know it's like i get w- i exact i get exactly what she means because i had that too yeah. you know i saw what i came here and i saw what my islamic brothers were doing and i was like i'm not i don't want to be associated with you guys yeah i'm not proud to be one of you guys till i realized that everyone has their own faith yeah. everyone believes for themselves so for me at this point in life you know when i I have a lot of friends in Turkey that that say like you know what I'm an I'm an atheist but they they live like there is not Muslim anyways but I I believe that people are like it's such a like twist in our world of Islam where I I believe that a lot of people are hating on it purely because we they don't like the representation that we have yeah no that's something that I get uh, yeah bro like like me if you truly are interested in it. Just deepen yourself into it, bro. Look into look into stuff. Ask for help, bro. Like you know, there's a lot of people that do, aren't willing to help that are not going to judge you. That this and this and that. Look up videos, bro. There's very interesting videos about stuff. Deepen yourself into the religion. Talk about it. And if you really love it, bro, you know you don't have to sp- you don't have to to to, to brag. About, you don't have to be a police, bro. You don't have to be a gatekeeper. There's actually there's one guy that does that. <laughs> so wh- why are you doing his work? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, that's it, I think. Our you have something to add? My little Islam police rant is over. This sound al Huh? This sound al That's the thing that they say in Dune when the, when the Messiah comes. It's funny, bro. It's hilarious, actually. There's this dude that's like dick riding fucking the Dune guy. And? He's like, like fanboy. He's, uh, in the first movie, he's like one of the group members. And he sees them, and he's like, the the Dune guy is like, he prophesies to be the chosen one, right? So he calls him Lisan al Gaib. And uh, in the second movie, he keeps doing stuff, but he, the, the guy himself, Paul, he doesn't want to be the Messiah. So yeah. He's like, I'm not the Messiah, bro. So every single time he says something like that, he's like, bro, he's so humble, he must be the Messiah. Lisan al Gaib, Lisan. And at some point, he was like riding this big ass worm, and he kept saying, as written, as written, listen al Gaib, listen al Gaib. He just went crazy with it, and he just kept telling the whole story to everyone. Yeah. So it became like the Messiah thing. Interesting. Nah. Yeah. It's a good, I recommend it, man. Dune is a really good uh, movie. Yeah, I'm watching the Super right now. In, the, in Dune itself, uh, what I also saw is that the, the older tribe people are like really brainwashed into the, the whole Messiah thing, and the younger people are like doubting it. Till they see this stuff happen, so it's like a, it's like a thing that happens in society as well, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's cool t- to see that happen. It's a, in a weird way, it's a really good representation of like religion, and yeah. people are like loving the thing but hating on Islam. So I don't get that either, man. How do you, how do you love one thing because a white boy is in it, but you don't like it when like fucking <laughs> Middle Easterns are in it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, comes back to the same thing again. People just want to hit. You just want to hate, man. Oh, fuck you. If, if you were, and if you were a hater, bro, think about your life, man. Because I believe if you genuinely are a hater, there is something wrong with your life. You're sad. You're actually, I think I, j- I have more like sympathy with you. Empathy. Sympathy, right? Empathy, I think. Empathy is the, if you understand. I don't understand them. I have sympathy. No, em- empathy sympathy is, is I see you lower. 
Det är sympati för. Det är sympati. Vi har sympati för some people, some people like ah. Oh, you're so sad. <laughs> the sympathy. Empathy is I get you, bro. Oh, okay. So I think, oh, you're so sad. Because I can relate. <laughs> okay, I, I get what you mean. I can relate. I, with, uh, I have sympathy for you too. Yeah. I feel, I feel like that's wrong. I, I think it's empathy. <laughs> Hello, all right, all right. Can we end it here, man? On this note, uh, if you're a hater, man, just change your ways. Be, wake up and think to yourself, what am I adding to society that's actually useful? Yeah. And I guarantee you, bro, you're going to wake up and go like, oh, I think I'm adding something useful. But in 20 years, you're going to look back and think like, I'm such a useless piece of fucking shit. And my life doesn't mean anything. Yeah. And I'm just a hater for no reason. That's why I'm going to hell. <laughs> What do you want me to say, bro? I don't have anything to add on to, bro. <laughs> <laughs>